Hello everyone, and this is the first video for module related material. Um, I did forget to mention something in the introduction video. This course is a little bit different than some of the other online courses in that um, I was not the course designer, but I am the course instructor for this course, which means that Chad is the course designer, um, set up all the assignments and did all the videos. So when you watch the videos, you actually see him doing the lectures or hear him doing the lectures uh, for the course rather than myself. I, however, facilitate all of the um, instruction. Um, if you have any questions, I do all the grading of the assignments. Um, you refer all your questions to me. So um, I'll try to make a, more of a presence by doing these short little videos at the beginning of each module so that um, maybe it helps you just connect the course with me a little bit better. Um, also, as we go through this, I'm really open to emailing me any ideas or suggestions for the course um, so that we can make changes in the future that might make the course either um, more clear or um, just kind of rearrange it maybe better. So um, feel free to give me your suggestions. I really welcome them. So um, module one, I just wanted to highlight a few things. Um, uh, I want you to, I talk about this, or Chad talks about this a little bit, you can see that. So on page seven, there's this picture in your book, and it's this pyramid of hierarchy of articles. And so he talks about articles that um, are categorized down here, um, are going to be, you'll find a lot of them, but they aren't very strong articles. Um, and as you work your way up the pyramid, the articles that are at the top, like systematic reviews and meta-analysis um, and clinically appraised topic, those types of articles are um, a little bit tougher to find or you might find as many of them, um, but they're a higher quality of research article. So um, we'll be referencing back to this in the future as we go through these types of articles, but I just want you to maybe um, dog tag this page so you can get back to it easily. One of the assignments or one of the things that we talk about in Module 1 is a people question, and so you'll be developing a cl clinical question that you want to investigate. Um, I want to let you know, though, that as you develop this clinical question, it probably will not be um, set in stone. It oftentimes will change based on the research that you're able to find um, or not find. And so sometimes we'll be working in reverse, where you'll, you'll come up with a general question, and then you go to find the research and you find that there's not much research or it's not very good research, so you come back and you actually change your PICO question or you tweak it a little bit. Um, sometimes the question has um, been researched so much that it's just kind of general knowledge and so there's not any new research about it. So, um, for example, if your PICO question would be, um, does a TENS unit relieve pain um, post ACL tear better than ICE? This has been researched a fair amount, and, and we know that ICE is a good pain reliever post-injury. Um, so if you delve into the literature um, and you're looking for recent research, like within the last 10 years, you're not going to find much. So you would go back and probably change your question, tweak it a little bit, um, and, and, and you might even base your question on what research you did find. Just So you're kind of working in reverse sometimes. Um, page 15 in your reading gives some good examples of some good PICO questions and some PICO questions um, that weren't so great um, and led the, um, the student to having trouble finding some research. Um, and then the other thing is critically appraised articles. Um, so what we'll be doing is finding a lot of research and I think there's assignment in this module where you're going to be looking at some research and trying to appraise it. So what I would suggest in looking for research for this particular assignment um, is that you actually look for randomized control trials. Um, these are going to be the easiest to analyze with the PEDRO scale, which is what you're going to utilize that particular tool um, to analyze a research article. So in your search box, you can have key terms for your question, but one of them might be randomized controlled trials so that you can quickly find the articles that would best fit this assignment. There's a little bit more explanation under the um, assignment link that I put in, so, um, but I'm hoping that that is helpful for you in that assignment. If you have any questions um, along the way, feel free to email me. I know it's the first 
one that we're kind of trying to get going. So there might be um, some question as to, to what we're looking for. So, um, but I hope it goes well and um, have a great day.